why are macros prioritized over micros? It's insanity. Oh my gosh, friend, you are in the right place. My whole jam is learning how to get the full range of nutrients our bodies need from the foods we eat while ditching diet mentality. And when I say nutrients, I mean micronutrients. Vitamins and vitamin-like compounds, minerals, phytonutrients, amino acids, uh, functional fatty acids, and fiber, although that does belong in the macronutrient classification. And actually, micronutrients are a major rationale for balanced macronutrients, meaning the proportion of our diets coming from protein, carbs, and fat fall within what's called the accepted macronutrient distribution ranges. 10 to 35% calories from protein, 20 to 35% calories from fat, but no more than 10% of calories from saturated fats, and 45 to 65% of calories from carbohydrates, but no more than 25% of total calories from sugars, and no more than 10% of total calories from added sugars. That is the scientific definition of a balanced diet. And yes, part of the scientific rationale for those accepted macronutrient distribution ranges is minimizing disease risk and all-cause mortality, which is an indirect way to measure overall health and longevity. But another part of the calculus is that balanced macros and a majority whole foods diet is what makes it easiest to hit the dietary reference intake of all micronutrients and protein and fiber. So it's not that we just care about macros. It's that balancing macros is an eating pattern that makes it easier to get all of the micronutrients we need. And if you want to learn more about that, I recommend hitting the follow button, but also grabbing a copy of my book, Nutrivore. Get it? A carnivore eats meat, an herbivore eats plants. A nutrivore eats nutrients. Micronutrients.